Today we are going over the only two pull-up variations you will need, and the reason is quite simple. We are talking about growth, and not fancy. And for that, you need one with a lead focus, and the other one with more of an upper back focus. So if you are ready, let's see it. If we are talking about the lead focused pull-up, all you need to do is get your arms next to your side, really close to your body. And your focus is to get your elbow down to your hip, unshugging those shoulders, really taking out your upper back from the moment. A neutral grip is going to be your best friend. That's pretty much the only friend you got anyway. And I know what you are thinking. Using this handle, this baby or V handle, however you want to call it. And that's probably the worst idea what you can do because you are going to need a shoulder with like handle and in most gyms, they have a pull-up bar, most like at least like around this width. So you should use that. Progression is everything, even with the pull-up. So don't be afraid to use some weights. I'm going to use some dumbbells for that. And now comes the upper back focus one. And it's easy to guess which one it is. It's going to be the wide one. And you don't need to exaggerate. The wide one, you can just go outside of your shoulder width and really focusing on getting your elbows outside of your body, pulling it down. And that's going to hit your upper back. For optimal growth, you want to progress the weight. So you can do it with the dumbbell straight away. Now let's talk about how you get from zero to 15 reps on a pull-up. And it's only 15 because I believe that going above 15 is just going to fatigue you. So I would much rather you focus on improving the weight rather than the reps above 15. You are just going to need some bands with different resistance. Start with the strongest one because that's going to provide the most resistance when you are stretching it out and put your foot in there. Once you can do eight to 15 reps for two to three sets, then put your knee in there. Once you can do the same thing, go down to the lighter band and then repeat it. And then eventually you are going to get to the pull up and you have to do the same thing again. Work the way up till you can do anything in between eight to 15 reps for two to three sets. And then you can start loading it. You're going to need to practice this at least four times per week, and you're going to get there. If you are looking for some help with your training, I'll leave a link in the description. Watch this video next about glute training, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Talk to you soon.